Acuna's hit 12 homers, 24 RBIs, and 25 runs scored leading off. And he got smoked on the very first pitch. Chad Fairchild right out in front of the plate. Acuna tosses the helmet down. And now in a crouch on the third baseline. The very first pitch of the game nails Ronald Acuna Jr. And now the Braves are coming out of their dugout looking at Urania. And now both benches are going to empty. Brad Snickers leading the charge. I don't blame Sniff for being mad right here. And I'll tell you what, if the umpire, Chad Fairchild, he should be tossed right here, Joe. Absolutely, he should. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left. Break out the tape measure. That bucks for you. A long home run for Acuna above the Clevelander. And in light of what happened in Atlanta, that had to be a very enjoyable trip around the bases. Pitch. Look it yeah. hits Stanton, and Stanton gives a little look, and now has some to say to Mike Fires. And now Stanton going to take a step towards him as the benches will start to trickle out. Stanton will go towards first as James McCann walks him there. Not the first time that Fires has hit Stanton, and the first time it was career threatening. So there's a history there between these two. Let's go back when Stanton was with the uh, Marlins and Fires was with the Milwaukee Brewers. You can see Fires' reaction. Stanton's season was ended as he was hit in the face with a fastball. Displeasure with getting hit and his reaction had a lot to do, you think, with who it was, and he's going to like that. And he is going to make sure and stylize that trot. A bomb off the bat of John Carlos Stanton as he wins this battle with Mike Fires. Here's another look. Classic hanging breaking ball. Right in the happy zone. There was a backflip after this. Well, look at him just watching it. Bautista looks out at the pitch and that ball went behind him. Goins was hit by a pitch by Garcia. Donaldson at third. He moved up on the wild pitch. Bautista drives it deep to left. He's amazing. And he enjoys it. Garcia threw one behind his back. It rattled his cage and he goes deep. You know, in all my years watching baseball, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a guy rise to the occasion. Now, tempers have spoiled over here, and they're starting to flare. And during the break, Bautista was running out to right field, and I think Adam Jones had something to say to him. He said, they threw behind my back, and that's why he's upset, and then I hit a home run. So... The Orioles came up to the top step, and you could see Bautista, what he was saying was, hey, they threw it behind my back. And don't blame me for reacting like that. Playing catch up once again. They trail by a run. Bautista gets hit by Matt Bush. That's weak. Dan and I assume your home plate umpire put the warning in immediately. Now Jeff Bannister wants and to come out. And now he's going to take him out. That's weak. Beltrake ducked off a tough hop. And the throw is wide down the line. And there we got a final shot. 
Batista picked on the wrong guy as Odor came right at him. And we got the benches. The benches empty in that. There's some pent up emotion going on out of Globe Live Park. Well, Bautista got the worst of that exchange. Getting uh, an explanation. Here's the close up. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of slide they're trying to eliminate. Yep. And I think Odor, you saw Odor dropping down. Rudin said, no. Nope. Whoa. I think ba Bautista got all he could handle with that. Well, Odor's now two for five today. Wow. Another payoff. And Martin on the ground. Andrews makes a play, goes to second out there, throw to first. Oh, and what a play. But here comes the runner, Donaldson. He's safe. He's safe. He's safe. The ball game is over. The Blue Jays are moving on. Here comes Bogarts, has to wait on it a bit, gets the certain out, Pedroia taken out. Machado is done, but Pedroia a little shaken up on the play as Trumbo becomes the runner at first base. And did Pedroia get spiked? Right now, there's the slide, he makes contact, but then he comes up and over the back. Looks like he did get spiked in the back of the leg. And he's going to come out of the game. 92 mile an hour fastball just off the edge. Here, going at the kneecaps. All right. Whatever, we'll take that inside. Setting away again across the kneecaps. Trying to hit him there. One more time, setting away right at the kneecaps. One down, runner at first base. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. Everybody's up. And Farrell, here comes Buck Showalter. They're going to throw him out. Base, this is trying to hurt somebody right here. That's bad. That is way too dangerous. Whoa. Unbelievable. And you see Pedroia saying, it's not me. Runner on at first base and one up. That ball in the air to center. That's how you answer. Going by Bradley, turned the wrong way. It'll take a hop off the wall. Donald Jones will come around. He's going to score and a double. And on the very next pitch, Mandy Machado answers the way you answer in sports. You deliver. He's three for nine off sale. Oh, well, Whoa! Chris Sale, there's the warning from the home plate umpire. It was bound to happen, but boy, I didn't think it was going to be that fast. After Mookie Betts got hit last night, Sale zings a fastball right behind him. And Manny Machado will lead it off for the O's. First ball hitting in the air. This baby's gone. Way back and goodbye. Home run. Another one. From the top on down. Here comes a 1 2 pitch. Red Sox win the World Series. Final tonight. Up the middle, gloved by Murphy. There's one, and they will not get the double play. Wow, did Chase Utley go in hard at second as the tying run scores? Tejada looked like a receiver coming over the middle, having his feet knocked out from under him by a defensive back. Check this out. This is going to be a tough turn anyway. The ball behind second base, he was going to turn that way to make a throw. Utley got off in a great secondary lead, and he gets right there to break up the double play. Didn't even start sliding till he was even with the bag. You know, Mattingly's on the field because he might challenge to see if the how to touch the base or not. Did his toe get little, on the bag? a little space right there. <laughs> I'm wondering, how do they treat Utley not touching second base? Well. That'll be up to Terry Collins right now who can say look I'd like to challenge as well and say the runner never touched the bag. Did he just kick him out? He threw behind Utley. Did they just kick Syndergaard out? That's the one. That's unbelievable. Adam Hamari is the home plate umpire. He didn't even hit him. I think a warning could be issued but not you can't toss a guy for that. And now Collins is out. He couldn't care less, but Collins is going to get his money's worth. And Collins, in my opinion, is right. Here. And you know what you're doing, which no one thinks about as an umpire at the time? You just made it worse. 
Now the infield pushes back up the middle. They try to turn two in on the corners, and that's one. It's hit deep into right field, back at the wall, and a grand slam. Unbelievable as Chase Sutley is over twice. And it's six to nothing, Dodgers here in the seventh. Here's Chase Utley facing Jonathan Sanchez. Look out. Is that a fastball? It was, and some immediate stank eye from Chase Utley. High and deep. Randy Wynn looking up. Gone. And it's seven to two. And now you got the Phillies into it. That ball is absolutely crushed. <laughs> The Nationals are on the board. The 3-1. Harper hits it high and deep into the right field corner. If it's fair, it's long gone. That one is fair. Home run. And we are tied. And Bryce Harper's done it to Hunter Strickland again. Great patience. He worked the count to 3-1. and one. And, of course, power against power. We showed you it before. Whoa. History. And Bryce Harper wants a piece of Hunter Strickland. Here they go. Strickland lands a punch. Harper lands a punch. Bench is empty. And if that was unintentional, Hunter Strickland just totally lost his command. We told you there was history. And that goes back to the playoffs a couple of years ago. He's put together one of his best. And get him in the jaw? Yes, it did. Well, that pitch may have had a little purpose because he's 10 for 27 with a couple of homers lifetime off Pavano. And he's going to first base. What do you think? That was interesting. Now he hits a deep drive, straight away center field, and gone. A one off speed out towards center field hit pretty well Andy Chavez however near the track will make the catch and the Angels are done here in the eighth this is after the last out of the eighth inning and usually he points it out towards center field but this time he pointed right towards the Angels dugout I wonder if he uh, just vapor walked and thought that that was the ninth inning that that was it Trout takes off the pitch is caught on that's down the right field line that will go for extras Trout went into a slide at second. He's headed to third. He's being waved in. Here comes a throw by Romero. We are tied up at five. The ball gets away. Pujols remains at second. And while Albert got to second base, Albert took the arrow out and shot it at the Angels' dugout. Boy, I love this. This is what baseball is all about, especially now two rivals going at it. Look out. Up by his face, able to twist out of the way. 95 on the fastball. 
underneath his chin. Yeah that was very very close right here fastball just chasing the face of Cespedes able to spin out of the way. Cespedes to center field and deep. Hamilton going back to the track at the wall. It's gone. You want a Cespedes with a towering home run to center field has put the Red Sox with one swing of the bat on top three to two. Well, how about that? Broxton brushes him back with a pitch underneath his chin, and then he takes Broxton right out of the yard. And Cabrera hits yes. him a deep right field. Back goes Borges near the wall. It's out of here. One out here's Cabrera, who has one of the Mets' three hits tonight—a double back of the oh. first—and that goes behind him. And Cabrera stares out at Ramos, not at all happy with that. Cameron Ruff, a very big man, tries to soothe Cabrera. Nobody exits either dugout, but well, that certainly got everybody's attention. And now Alan Porter is warning both dugouts. Which will make it difficult for the Mets to retaliate in any fashion. Nothing to do with what just happened, but somebody just got thrown out of the game. That's the Was manager. It Pete yes. I was just reminded that when as Dribble Cabrera hit that walk-off home run at City Field last September against the Phillies, it was against Ramos. And he had the big bat flip. So that could have been what precipitated this. Back in 1924. Piazza hits one deep into Death Valley. Way back there. Williams going back. This one is gone into the bullpen. And Mike Piazza has hit that Yankee Stadium homer. 6 nothing Mets. 2-1. Hit in the air to left field. Way back. Curtis looking at the wall. Goodbye. He's done it again. Mike Piazza off Clemens. A three-run homer. Mets lead at 5-2. And the 1-0. A high drive to center. Bernie back on the track near the wall. A grand slam. Piazza hit the ball right over the 408 foot sign to dead center. It's a grand slam. Piazza blast. And the Mets take a 4 0 lead. The outfield straight away against Piazza, who's DHing in this game. The 0 1 pitch. Way inside and hit him. Piazza is hit by the pitch ball and he is down on his back in the batter's box. I'm not sure exactly where it got him, but it might have gotten him in the helmet. And the trainer Fred Hina is out in Piazza having trouble opening his eyes. He had him wide open at first, Gary, but then he closed them. I'm not exactly sure where it got him. And Roger Clem is looking very upset, standing hands on knees in front of the mound. And Piazza has his eyes closed, trying to flutter them open. The barrel of the bat comes back at Roger Clemens and he fires the bat back toward Piazza who is going down the first baseline. The better part of the bat the fat part of the bat and fired into foul territory near Piazza. Obviously Piazza didn't mean to do that. My gosh, that's a blatant act. Foolish, foolish. Man, that is, I'll tell you, that is, that is a blatant act right there. In the next inning, so he might have to leave for a pinch hitter. And Piazza hits one in the air to deep left field. Back goes Rondell White, back on the warning track, back at the bullpen fence, jumping, and it's out of here! Mike Piazza with his fourth home run off Roger Clemens. A towering shot that fell into the left field bullpen. 